Okay, we are going to now give you some examples of collaboration in action. So uh, let's go with that. Uh, where do we go? Okay, so let's look at uh, Google, some Google Docs action here. Google Docs, obviously, word processing, but one of the great things about Google Docs is the ability to share. So every year I have my AP World History students do three collaborative essays. Uh, we have three types of essays. The first one we do is all, you know, it's collaborative. They have to work with one other person. Sometimes it's two other people if there's a odd number of people in the class. Uh, but basically, uh, I group them together by grade. So I know for a fact that Mandy and Will here are not necessarily friends. I don't know if they knew each other beforehand, but they certainly, uh, uh, you know, weren't necessarily people who I think would have picked each other to work on this. But they had a similar grade. Their grade was, was within a percent of each other. Uh, and I do that just so I get kind of like leveled students uh, together. Every once in a while it doesn't quite work out because you just have the lazy, really smart person who has a C or a D get teamed up with the student who's struggling and then there's a little imbalance. But for the most part, this, this works. Uh, they start it in class. They have the rubric there. And then they go home and, and it's mostly at home. And they do it from their respective houses and they can get in and... and uh, and share it with one another and go back and forth and, and actually even type at the same time. A chat window can show up over here on the right hand side. Or if they want to, uh, they're not on at the same time and they want to leave a comment so they can uh, um, you know, ask a question. You can actually go and insert, uh, where's comment? I should know this. Insert comment. There it is. I use the shortcut usually, uh, the keyboard shortcut. And then you can say, hey, and then hit comment, and then uh, they can later on say what you know or whatever happens to be. So you can go through and do that. When you're all done with this, you can you can hit resolve, and it slowly disappears. Uh, I the, the students go in and, and they look at it. Another another great thing we talked about is like sometimes you got the slacker who doesn't do any work or the type A who does all the work, uh, won't let anybody do anything. I tell them they have to. Uh, do about the same amount of work and I can see that by looking at the revision history so I can get in and see Who's doing what? So, you know, I can look you know, there's my initial stuff and you can go in and say okay One of them started there Then the other one and some more and if you go more detailed revisions It actually gets minute by minute the changes so you can actually watch it unfold I use this also in a way to, uh, you know, catch plagiarizers because every once in a while there'll be an essay that eh, I'm a little questionable about, and then I look on here and there's no essay at 8:36, and then at 8:37 there's this brilliant long essay that's right there because they copied and pasted it from somewhere, or even there's this brilliant essay there that's formatted weird because they copied and pasted it from somewhere, and then you you go in and you you can see them actually doing the formatting to make it look more. Doc. So that's happened a couple times. Uh, I do tell them I check this. I do tell them that uh, I expect them to do about an equal amount of the work uh, or else, or else I'll lower their grade and not their partner's grade. I did have one instance one year where a student said, oh yeah, you know, a student came up to me and said, oh, Mr. McDowell, so-and-so didn't do any of the work. And so I call so-and-so up and I say, hey, you didn't do any of the work. He's all, sure I did. And I said, come around, let's look at the history. And he kind of, his eyes opened up and and I said, look, you're not on here. Wait, you wrote your name on it. Nice job. And, I, and he kind of got all sheepish. And I said, okay, you need to go tell you, you know, you're not getting a grade for this. You're, you're going to have to do one on your own within two days. Uh, and uh, you need to go apologize to your partner because you put her through, through a lot of stress. So, and from then on, he did a really good job. Uh, so that's, that's something cool you can kind of check out. I then get to write right on it, and what I have found is I do better comments when I get to grade right on it. So I do a little note here, I put the rubric in there, and I grade it, and then I am able to put comments over here on the side. And I, I do more, I have terrible chicken scratch handwriting, uh, and I hate writing in columns, and so uh, I, like, I like doing this. I've done Google Docs for a number of projects I've done for PBS, I've just wrapped one up now, there are four or five of us working on a document over the last three months back and forth. We have lots of comments going on on the side. Uh, it involved a couple phone calls total, um, you know, two phone calls total where we talk for about 20, 30 minutes uh, max. Otherwise, it's, it's almost all communication through Google Docs and a few emails that says, hey, this is done. So when we talk about collaboration, here are people I've never met, I've worked with, 
Um, and then in this case, here are students that do know each other, sort of, but don't have to have that social pressure of, of going over to someone's house or sitting in front of the same computer. You can team people up in, in sort of different ways. Uh, Google also has a drawing program. And, and you know, a good, one of the great things about docs and drawing and, and all of their stuff is you, it's, it's synchronous. So you can, you can actually be on it at the same time editing at the same time. And same with Google Drawing. So here's a Google Drawing. Uh, they had to do an infographic on some aspect of um, the Ottoman or the Mughal empires from my AP World History class. Uh, they had to have a chart in it. Uh, and so they were able to look up some information, put some Im images in it. But these students were working on this together in class uh, because I gave them a day in class to start it. And then at home, uh, they could do it as well. Uh, it's kind of a fun thing I do with the essays is uh, when the essay when they're writing their essays I make them do it midnight and then I will actually stop in from about 9 till about 10 11 when I go to sleep and uh, and see how they're doing when I was in China back in April they had an essay due actually this one uh, and I was uh, I was you know it was three in the afternoon or some something it was is the or maybe one in the afternoon when midnight was approaching and I uh, got on, and there were a whole bunch of students working at 11, you know, all the way till midnight, and I'd jump in and say, hey, how's it going, you know, do you have any questions, you know, and so it was neat that I was doing it from China, but I was, you know, it's a kind of a regular practice I do, just to see if they need help, and oftentimes, wait, Mr. McDowell, I have a question, and I can get in there and answer the question. Uh, another one is, uh, here's, here's a presentation, they had to do a revolutionary, uh, uh, revolutionary uh, recipe on how the, you know, in this case, the French Revolution occurred, uh, and they go through and they're able to, uh, you know, add a bunch of add a bunch of things to it, uh, and they can do it collaboratively, they can do it individually, and they share it with me so I can get in there and, and comment on it as well. So all this relies upon them sharing it with me. And if we go to my uh, go to my Google Docs, my Google Drive, here's all my AP work. I have I just throw everything. They share it with me, then I throw it in a folder, and so everything's uh, everything's right there. So they can do it. And they had a Napoleon resume as well. So I did six collaborative uh, Google-based projects in my AP World History classes. Uh, some bigger than others, but a little bit, of, a little bit of everything. And then I did one other one, a Google, oops, a uh, where is it? A Google uh, Sites page where my students made essentially a mini Wikipedia. So this is two years ago. We did a little different version of it this year, but we did not only with my class and my, uh, my uh, other AP World History teachers class here at West Hills, but we did it with uh, two other schools, one in Arizona and one in New Jersey. And basically, everybody got a topic. Every students were broken into groups. They got a topic. Uh, you know, understand why the collapse of the empire was more severe in Rome than it was in the Byzantine Empire or in China. Uh, and they had to write a short you know, bolded list article. Then there was a validation time where, let's go here, uh, where students were then given topics they had to go validate. So like the group, you know, group one here, uh, Franklin uh, one, had topic A1, and they had to then go and validate D7, A8, and E12. So by validate, I meant, I mean, go and correct it. If they find a mistake, they don't want to just comment about it. You need to actually get in and hit edit and fix fix the mistake. So by the end, you had a, a huge resource for students to study off of that had, um, you know, I don't know how many articles there were. A whole bunch of articles covering the key ideas of, of the whole of the whole exam in, in more like question essay format, uh, and it was validated by at least at least three groups. Uh, it checked for grammar, and you know, some do better than others with, with that. And we had this this massive attempt. And I think there were like this year when we did it for uh, the three schools, 240, 240 students or so. Uh, yeah, 10 EP classes, four teachers in three states, 240, maybe and maybe even more than that students uh, involved uh, to do this. So it was pretty cool and and you know collaborative, and the students got to kind of interact on a on a superficial level at the very least with people from from around uh, around the country.